So the first of the prizes in this claim is an ESP. I've been using this over 20 years. This is a extra surface prep. So if the surface is good enough and you just want it to turn into a gripper, like for mica or paint that's been done or varnish that's been sprayed before and there's no nibs, put this straight on. There's no sanding required. You can put undercoat straight, any oil base, acrylic undercoat straight on, then the top coat. And you know, I'll be explaining about the Oratrol and the other stuff which will make it even harder, but we just keep this as the, as the primer. It's clear, it goes on like water, interior, exterior. Um, so it grips yeah so it grips onto any, any shiny surface um also um if you're going varnish over varnish and you don't know if it's so you want to put acrylic over over oil base and you're not sure um a lot of the time it can not go well but if you put this on just to be safe it'll only take you a couple of minutes it goes on really easy with a cloth um and then away you go put whatever top coat straight on that it'll grip to it mapping on walls as well mapping is when you roll the wall you stand back because mainly when they dry line and don't plaster it, you can see where all the flashing of the fillers are coming through and you could give it 20 coats you're not going to get that evenness because it's just more porous where the filler is so if you put this on after that and then put another coat over two coats that'll get rid of the mapping much quicker than any other way um yeah great product I have it in my toolbox as like it's part of my toolbox so and I'll never get stuck on a job I don't have the, the specific primer for that shiny surface whatever this will go on anything gets you out of lots of holes it got me out of a hole last week I had priced um, for one satin over satin in the house and I got there and the satin over satin downstairs I got upstairs it was it was glossed before so instead of sanding it all down having to undercoat it and then glossing I wipe this on and you go satin straight over the glass and it's, it's bulletproof great gear lads that do kitchen swear on it this is better it doesn't chip some of the other primers will chip they're too hard and this will this will put this on and yeah, bulletproof when you use the oratrol system through it's probably the hardest uh, best finish you'll get good use for the ESP is priming MDF and um, yeah you can rub it on here MDF is a very funny wood if you don't get the right primer and you just put a normal acrylic uh, primer on it that's not specified for it. every time you sand it it rubs off and you put your other coat on it, it goes hairy again so you need something that's going to soak in and penetrate and seal it so ESP perfect for that um, and it's so easy to apply and the next uh, the next bit of the video you'll see me applying it it's simple just put it on leave it for two hours and off you go just rub on a bit of ESP with a little M3 cut. And you can use any, under, any oil undercoat or any water undercoat or a primer. Um, and it'll, it'll stick, won't chip. ESP is ideal for adhering paint to smooth, non-porous surfaces like ceramics, glass, paint, tiles, laminate, plastic. Apply ESP with a brush and after a few minutes of drying, wipe off excess with a cloth. Paint may be applied after two hours or up to seven days later. It adheres strongly and immediately to the surface. Its unique colorless formula allows you to give a new look to the base of this lamp. Apply a tinted varnish and you'll keep the original surface textured. ESP, the solution to easily give a new look. There is always a solution with Oratrol.